I want to tell you that I am so excited because Jesus has totally changed my life, transformed my life. I can't even believe I'm doing everything I'm doing today. But here's, here's why. I am so motivated for other people to know my Savior Jesus, the love of my life. You see, all my life I was looking for love in all the wrong places and faces. And you know, just like so many others. And we go out there and, and, and we end up maybe in addictions or in bad relationships. But Jesus is the answer. So let me tell you a little bit about my life. I'm a former stripper and a prostitute and had a stripping business. I had female strippers along with male strippers. Because when I was younger, my own father molested me as I was growing up. And then, I grew, growing up in Chicago, I was date raped, gang raped, and even kidnapped at knife point at five months pregnant. Well, needless to say, my once soft heart and once naive little person I was ended up being very hard-hearted and always had an attitude, I'm going to use you before you use me. And you know, but I didn't know, wasn't raised in church. I didn't even know John 3, 16. Now my mother always believed in God and even prayed, she said, but she was not born again. I had a wonderful mother. And but anyway, so I ended up working in nightclubs. I got introduced to uh, a dancing agent through a girlfriend of mine. And I ended up uh, working, now if you're familiar with Chicago, I worked Old Town and Rust Street at those clubs down there. Oh my, I was 18, I got a false ID, and, and from 18 to probably about 21, off and on, whenever I needed money, I would go and work in those clubs. Well, also, while I was working in those clubs, we had to hustle the men in the back room to make, for, for, to make extra money, make commission. Well, I hated that part. I loved to dance, always loved to dance, but I hated that. Didn't even want to use the guys. I felt sorry for them, but pretty soon I got a hard heart. They're coming in here using me. I'm going to use them. And so let me tell you then what happened. So after working in them clubs, I ended up uh, meeting uh, a, a man who married me with three children. And he was a good man, And but we both drank. And I took my baggage of addiction right into that marriage, and our poor children suffered. Oh man, that's the problem. See, with addictions, it's not just you that is suffering, your children. It's a ripple effect on everybody. And, and my children, I, you know, I've told them now that I'm sorry, but I look back and I thought, well, you know, I'm just going to try to do what I'm doing to make a, a living and help them. But really, all they wanted was mama. Women wanted uh, male strippers, so I held auditions and got male strippers for their bachelorettes and birthday parties. And, you know, I thought I had it going on. I was on TV with this, with a commercial, radio station. I thought, wow, I'm not a prostitute anymore. I'm a businesswoman. You know, that's how that devil can really blind your eyes. You really think that what you're doing is okay, but it's not. And you know, now that I know and my eyes are open, that's why I want to tell everybody about Jesus. Well, so anyway, after I had this business, I had it about a year and a half. And then at the height of the nasty, evil career that I was headed in, and thought I was being successful. Matter of fact, my TV, uh, uh, the uh, commercial was even on MTV, Nashville Network, ESPN. It would run like 38 times a day on all those different, in between all those different programs. And I thought, hey, I'm not a prostitute, I'm doing good. Well, you know what? I didn't realize I was lost. Now, if you'd asked me if I was lost before, I said, no, I know what I'm doing. I'm, you know, I'm a businesswoman, I'm doing good. Oh, but oh my, I look back now and I thank my God. Here's what happened, I thought I was gonna lose my kids and this tough woman who thought that I could handle anything, that was my bottom. I, could, I couldn't take the thought of losing my kids. I needed peace and mama, my mama and my dad, stepdad had got saved just before this now and mama had rheumatoid arthritis, fibromyalgia, osteoporosis, and oh, and a lot of pain. And I, of course, put her through emotional pain, but you know what? Mama always had a smile on her face. And you know what? She had peace. And the Lord, when, when this was happening to me, as I was sitting there thinking I was about ready to lose my kids, and my mind was tormented. I needed peace. Matter of fact, you may be sitting there and you need peace, but Jesus is the answer. Well, my mind then went to mama. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna call mama. So I called mama and I told her what was happening. And I said, mom, I believe God is wanting me to tell him to give, telling me to give my life to him, that I'll find that peace then. And I said, mom, would you lead me in a prayer to the Lord? 
She said, yes, honey. And she led me in a prayer to the Lord. I don't even remember the whole prayer, but all I know is here's what happened. It wasn't a foxhole prayer. It wasn't, God, just get me out of this and don't make this happen and I'll live for you. I meant it. God put that within me. You know, he gives us that measure of faith. Somehow I had that little seed of faith to believe that somehow that he was going to work things out. But he was telling me to repent. Repent means turn. Be willing to turn from what you're doing. Well, I've worked hard for this business, and I've always said no man is ever going to tell me to quit this business because I'm going to be rich and give my kids everything. But like I said, the bottom line is, is they wasn't really wanting the riches. They wanted mama. They wanted the time with me for me to be the mama, not be a friend to smoke pot with them and other stuff like that. So many ways, so Jesus was knocking on my heart. And I, and I knew that I knew that if I somehow, he just put that faith within me that if I, if I said yes with my whole heart, that's where I would find that peace. So I did. And mama led me to the Lord in a prayer to the Lord. Mm-hmm.